It's my birthday today, and to celebrate, I'm going to teach you all how to have more mind-blowing orgasms. You're welcome. My name is Sterling Cooper. I'm an award-winning adult film star, former high-class male companion, and I'm here to help you transform your sex life. So improving the strength and the quality of your own orgasms is actually really easy to do, but most guys don't even really think about this kind of stuff. And you really, if I'm being honest, you're really missing out on a hell of, a, of an experience because you can take like, let's say that, you know, on average when you, when you climax, yeah, you're having a feeling of like six or seven out of 10. You can make sure that bad boy is like a 10 out of 10 every time with just a few of these little tweaks I'm gonna give you today. So most guys, when they're climaxing, they just they either just breathe out or they just breathe in, like they hold their breath. It's either one of these two and they stay in that kind of static state of breath during the climax. Really, really simple thing that you can do and you can get your partner to do, this works for women as well, is during the climax or immediately after the climax, cyclical breath, like deep, deep belly breaths, ins and outs during and try to time it with like the waves of pleasure that you get during like the, the orgasm or like immediately after the orgasm. It's really, really easy for women to do this because they kind of get that pulsating sensation during and, uh, and after like they climax. For dudes, it's a bit harder to do this while you're spurting, but you can do it immediately after you've come and you can just breathe in and out and you can kind of extend the length of that euphoric, the euphoric experience, that euphoric feeling, that orgasmic feeling immediately after you ejaculate, you can extend that for quite a bit of time just by deliberately controlling and, and engaging in deep breathing. And the other added benefit is if you keep a rhythmic breath going after you've climaxed, it's gonna be much, much easier for you to immediately go into a round two again and significantly decrease what's known as the refractory period. That's the, the time you need, the delay between orgasms for dudes. That's called the refractory period when it's like, you can't get your boner up again. You like need like a few minutes. If you keep engaging in this sort of rhythmic breathing, it's gonna significantly reduce that time. Now, the bigger your ejaculate volume, the more intense your orgasm is gonna feel as well. Simply because there's more spurts of stuff coming out and flying out through your, uh, your Johnson downstairs, right? So if you want to learn how to triple the size of your ejaculate, no joke, like we do for porno movies, then check out my ebook right here. A couple of more ways you can massively increase the pleasure you get out of your orgasms is to simply edge yourself prior to sex. Now, obviously you need to have control over your orgasm. You don't wanna be prematurely ejaculating all over the place. But if you edge prior, to sex, it's going to make those orgasms during sex way, way more intense because you're gonna be in a more heightened state of arousal to begin with. And you're gonna have more in the chamber, so to speak, for the eventual climax. Another thing you can do is during the act of sex itself, this works for both you and your partner, is you can edge during sex itself. So rather than just you know, pounding away, pounding away, pounding away, and then getting to orgasm, what you can do is bring yourself close to orgasm, stop, calm down again, and then re-engage. So you're bringing yourself up, stopping, coming down deliberately, and then going up again. And as you do this, every, with every kind of, think of it like this, every time you come up and you come down again, you can get higher up. You, these waves become more intense until eventually, and this really, really works, on women, it's really good for getting for building them up, denying them an orgasm. Like, like I'll, this is a game I'll play with with women I sleep with. Is basically I'll I'll tell them they can't come without my permission, and so we'll get them close to an orgasm. I'll get them close to an orgasm, and I'll deny them an orgasm, and then I'll make them come down again. I'll make them breathe, do the cyclical rhythmic breathing again, and then I'll take her up again. I'll maybe I'll deny her a second time, and then I'll bring her back down again, and then. When I eventually let her orgasm, it's so much more intense than it would have been if I just let her pop the first time. And this, this principle applies to yourself as well, and you can do it deliberately to yourself, and then take yourself on these waves, and then when you finally reach climax at the end of the session with your lovely partner, it's gonna be like a 
a 10 out of 10 experience. So now you know how to make both your and her orgasms a lot more intense, it's time to add something else to your little bag of tricks. So learn how to turn her into a human fire hose right here.